Hey there. Um, I'm here with Gabriel Rhodes. This is Hello. his studio. And we were just hanging out and talking about stuff and songs. And uh, it occurred to me that in a few days, it will be Conversation with the Ghost's second birthday. So happy, happy birthday, birthday. <laughs> Conversation <laughs> with the Ghost. Um, and so we decided to share a little bit about it with you guys because these songs have been <clears throat> with me and with us for the past three years at this point because two since the release but then you know there's mm -hmm. the whole year before you release a record in which you you write the songs and by the way Gabe wrote almost half of the record with me and then we co-produced it so we spent a lot of time with these songs and then of course playing them live and um and a lot of people a lot of my fans have been asking me to share a little bit more about the behind the scenes, the the stories, and what happened in the studio, or what led me to uh, wrote a song, what led us to wrote a song, or our experience. And I thought, well, that's actually something interesting that I don't even know about you, Gabe, because we don't. It's not like before a gig we go and we're like, so which one is your favorite song? We never do that, and 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 I'm actually kind of curious, you know, because. This is the, well, Conversation was the second record that we made together. And now there is another one coming out pretty soon in the fall. It's going to be the third record. And so we've been, you know, at this point, we've been working together. Pretty long time. Pretty long yeah. time. And so. Since Moonbeam Parade. Yeah. Yeah. So, but of course, the, la the, the latest record is always the, the favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's always the one yeah. I like the best. But we're here to pay tribute to Conversation yes. with the Ghost. You know, one thing that stands out in my mind about those sessions is is the way we did it with with Donnie Wynn and Glenn Fukunaga. And, mm -hmm. and Donnie's always one of my favorite drummers because you, you do all this pre-production and you have a drum beat in your head and then he goes in there and plays exactly what you would never <laughs> expect. But Which it's very awesome. artistic and and, yeah. and Julia had asked him not to have any cymbals and and he's probably one of the only drummers that I that I've seen that could actually really pull that off. Right. Uh, Cuz a lot of drummers want to keep time with their hi-hat and and Donnie's really really capable of moving through those waters, you know. Donnie's um, a painter. Mm -hmm. he and really, he, I always call him the Picasso of drummers. Because he know? plays the drum the way um, he would paint. And Glenn's just always, uh, you know, I've been playing with Glenn almost 30 years, and he's just, and he's been the same since the day I met him, you know. And, so reliable. And he played upright on this record, which is always, you know, a little more cumbersome for him, but... Right. He's just the steadiest guy in the world, but what I was thinking about was we had set it up where you guys were live, right? And 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 we did a, f how many, two days, three days? We did three days. Yeah, in three days, and, and then we I did remember 14 songs. after that we went out to dinner to kind of celebrate, and and you were just, <laughs> you were just depleted emotionally. <laughs> You were like, and, and, and I was like, me. and you were like, I just, I, and we used pretty much almost, except for a t few words that were, you know, we had to correct. We used, we used all those live vocals from those days. And, yeah. and you were just, I, I just, I poured everything I had onto that studio floor yeah. and, and, <laughs> and we had dinner and almost just hardly said a word. Yeah. And, um, well, actually what, one thing that not many people know, except for <laughs> us, uh, the, the the intimates but um, when I left the studio and drove back home I started crying yeah. like a baby but not it wasn't a sadness it wasn't happiness it was it was a feeling that I could e couldn't even put my fingers on it was just it was all of that yeah. and the overwhelmingness of it all it was just so much and just oh. well, are there any songs that you when you still hear them today that you were like you get that same emotion from or yeah that you, yeah um probably conversation with the ghost is one of them oh. the title track by the way this record is dedicated to the memory of george reef who was a common friend and uh, a producer and bass player and but mostly and a beloved child of austin yeah, yeah. and and a friend mm -hmm. and and so um so 
so conversation with the ghost for me represent mm -hmm. the song to George and um, do we want to play it? Sure. Yeah, conversation with the ghost. Let's play it. Don't kill the light. I'm scared half to death. The fire burns cold. Trying hard to catch my breath. Words escape me. Hold me a prisoner with my thoughts. Drinking from a broken cup. Laying to an empty cross. Oh, the devil. Finds a man with too much time on his hands. All the time in the world we had, all the time in the world. Don't leave me lonely. My angel left my side. Dark well down in me Left my wounds open wide Break the silence It drives arrows through my heart Sit and talk with me a while Just be a voice in the dark Finds a man with too much time on his hands. All the time in the world we had, all the time in the world. All the time in the world we had, all the time in the world. Still a pretty Hi, song. George. Yeah, George. <laughs> yeah, so it was an intense session and it was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> actually, I want to share this with them. I think the funniest <laughs> moment <laughs> was when we had John Mills, oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. a saxophone player and clarinet, and uh -huh. well, he, yeah, play, he right, plays everything. Yeah. Um, and he played on the song that's Puppet on a String, that's actually one of one of the fun songs of the yeah. record. Uh, well, I think, I, well, he had played a great part. And uh -huh. I really liked it. Mm -hmm. And then, but Julia was like, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> play as if you're possessed by the devil. No, or that's not what like I said. That. I said, play it <laughs> as if you were playing at the devil's birthday party. Oh, there you go. And boy, <laughs> like, he did. And uh, his, Like just, you're in his, hell. His face was beet red and... and in, and and, I, and John Mills is one of the Austin treasures of all. He's the head of the advanced sex. It, it was partner. it was phenomenal. He's a doctor of music. Yeah. And, and he just got right on board and just <laughs> he looked like the devil. It, it looked like yeah. the devil. At some point, I was even was a little like scared. Like, coming. Oh up. my gosh! Is it? Is but it when be you okay? listen to that saxophone part, you, you know yeah, what we're yeah, talking about. Because it is just. <laughs> Yeah. It was so much fun. And it. and by the way, this is one of the songs that have Mark Rebo on guitar. Mark Rebo oh, yeah. Well, is... yeah, I remember because I was going to ask you about that. Tom Waits is one of your favorite artists. Yes. And you must have just been so excited when you found out he was going to do it. Oh, my gosh, yeah. And then waiting for the tracks. Yes. And then, so Mark Rebo I mean, played on two songs. It's like a dream. Puppet yeah. on a String and, and Hour, um, Hourglass. And... And I, I was emailing back and forth with the manager because, you know, Mark Rebo is always on tour. It's not like he's in front of his computer like we all are. <laughs> and so the manager said, OK, let me talk to Mark and, and let me play him the songs and we'll get back with you because, you know, I figure that if it, 
didn't like the songs, he wouldn't say Well, yes. he must have liked them because when he <laughs> sent the tracks back, he didn't just put one guitar. Yeah. Some songs he put like 10 guitar yeah. parts, you know, we had to kind of weed through and put them at different places. It different, was awesome. Different weird little mm -hmm. instruments, and yeah. but great electric guitar. So Classic. anyway, yeah. this is, this is, by the way, mm -hmm. is this the, your favorite song to play live? Probably, because it's fun to just kind of, you know. And, and the crowd always kind of just yeah. really enjoys them when you the more over the top you are with this one <laughs> uh, especially live yeah the the more people just really start throwing their throwing their babies in the air so this one is puppet on the string and this is the song if you don't know the original you should go and listen mm -hmm. yeah. remember this is a and song check out Mark Rebo on there where Mark Rebo played guitar and John Mills was playing saxophone at the devil's birthday party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Conversation with the ghost. Yeah. yeah, that was that was a fun session. So, which one is your favorite song? Is there one that you're kind of? Well, I'd hate to say it, but it's one that I didn't write, and it would probably be Coney Island. Ah. Huh? Yeah, I mean, you know, is it wrong to like a song that I didn't write? <laughs> well, actually, normally I don't. You actually, know. it's flat yeah, and flattering. You know, it's an OPT, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Shall we play it? OPS. OP what does it mean? Other person's song. Ah. <laughs> yeah. mm. Sure. Yeah. Excuse him. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Coney Island. I wrote Oh, and this one, too, another great note that you had given John Mills. Um, because he had played, again, a part that I really liked. Uh-huh. But it was normal. And what did I do? And you were like, no, no. Pretend like you're skipping across the notes and and low, high and like and and it really uh, turned out really nice and it's and it's a great uh, bass clarinet part on yeah. this song. It's very rich and and interesting sounding the way he's really skipping across the notes. Okay. B flat. I wrote this 
one. Guess where 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 was I when I wrote it? Coney Island. I bet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's exactly where I was. I'm thinking about that. I haven't heard this record in a really long time. Right. So, by the way, since we're here, I want to say thank you to all the people that were on this record. I say from saying thank you to you for mm -hmm. thanks for having me being there <laughs> the whole process. And, yeah, and also, you know, uh, I guess one person we didn't mention who played beautiful gut string was David Polkingham. Yes. And, and he sang also. And he sang lovely. Mm -hmm. and, and then we and, have uh, Joel Guzman on Oh, Joel! I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. on uh, Violence. Yeah, which was... Uh, mm -hmm. I remember getting his track back and just going, wow! It sounds like Astro Piazzoli. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we had a nice crew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm so looking forward to the new record, by the way, and I hope you guys will too. Yeah, and it's a different crew, but a great crew too. And it's a, yeah. and it's a bit different record, but uh, mm -hmm. I, I really like it. Yeah. And I'm excited for people to hear it. So shall we finish up with the, with the single or with Lila? Whichever one you prefer. What, what's the single? Blinded, blinded by, by the, the Sun. sun. Nah, either way, Lila, it's nice. Okay. I need my paper or Blinded by the Sun, either one. Let's do Blinded. Okay. Or Lila. <laughs> or both. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Let's do Blinded. Okay. Well. Because you got your capo there. Well, and I don't feel like arguing with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Blinded, we were, mm -hmm. we were in Tuscany. Yeah. He and I on vacation. The beach. Yes. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm 
And remember, yeah, we, we wrote this at, at sunset while looking at the yeah. at the sun hitting the I waves. Could, I could see it perfectly. Yeah. Know, the little castle in the distance and the lighthouse. I ran away, ran away where my thoughts where we were going. I forgot along the way, far away, we got lost. Didn't seem to care. I set my mind, changed my mind, laughed it all behind time after time. No rhyme, no reason, just things I've done. I played with life nervously, like a gun. and we finished it in your mom's kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. But it's crazy because I remember the pages where I write my songs, all pretty much all of my songs. And well, because it's Italy, your mom lets me smoke in the kitchen sometimes. And, <laughs> but I try not to abuse it. Well, the thing is that yeah. she lets you smoke in the kitchen, but not her, uh, not my stepfather. No, no, Giovanni, <laughs> but no way. But that's, because, that's because you're there just a well, couple he, of days. He here. shouldn't be smoking anyway, according to her. Well, he sees me though, and he does. Uh, yeah. yeah, he sneaks one. Okay. Well, anyway, that was fun. It was fun, yeah. and um, and we look forward to um, to spreading the new record. Yeah, in the I world. really seriously think. I mean, I love conversation with a ghost. It's a masterpiece. I think this may be your best record. But we'll Thank see. You. The, uh, we'll, we'll see. see. What they you think guys about will it. tell yeah. us. <laughs> I'm I'm proud to put it out. I'm I'm I'm. Or for you to put it out. Well, you you were a part of it, a huge part of it. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I I'm actually I'm looking forward to that. Um. Thank you so much for being with us, and uh, thank you so much for sharing this. I think we're, we're going to play another oh, one. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> what are we going to play? We'll, we'll do Lila. Okay. And, and, that and that will be the end of it. Okay. Lila, I remember I was, I was in my living room here in Austin, and the, the song was pretty much 
finished. Yeah. And then you came over for whatever reason. And I was like, I just, I just can't. I'm almost there, but I'm not there yet. Yeah. Remember? Mm, I do. And so you sat down and... and, and well, I remember and, you started cooking and I just sat there and, and kept, then kept screaming it. things from the, <laughs> from the table. Um, and this is one that Donnie Wen really surprised me on, too. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. and David plays a beautiful gut string. But Donnie just, uh, he played this amazing drum part. Right. And then he does this thing when he does the percussion overdubs. And that's one of the fun things about Donnie, too, is getting him. And out at my studio, I have this giant table full of percussions. And, uh -huh. and he did this. Yeah. Yeah, and it really kind of made this track I, re kind of I remember super because groovy. the way we recorded at, at the studio, we were all in one room, me with, with Donnie and, and Glenn, the three of us playing together, and he was there as this, the producer and the external ear, <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and, and then Carter working yeah. at the computer. And I was in my little corner behind all these curtains to block the sound, and when Donnie started playing, I thought, what is this? What am I supposed to do here? I it was seriously like yeah, you well, said. That's how Donnie is. The last you know, but thing it's I always was, genius. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. it took me a minute to go like, how am I gonna play what I'm supposed to play on this groove? Because yeah, he was And then it was just. It's like a movie. Yeah. This is Lila. Lila used to scream most of the time. Till she couldn't hear her own thoughts The voices in her head Didn't seem to rhyme Too loud to connect the dots Lila used to run Most of the time And it was far, far away
Thank you. Thank you, Gabriel. You're very welcome. And uh, if you that are watching, you <laughs> don't have conversation with the ghost and you want to hear the studio version, let me know and I'll send you a nice signed copy. Mm -hmm. Maybe and we'll get Gabriel to Then you send. should. Hmm? If you're curious, then you should get it. <laughs> and I'll sign it. And maybe we'll get Gabriel to sign it too. If you want. If you want. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>